This is the techniques or techniques if you prefer receiver. It's the SA206. We have quartz digital synthesizer, power button. I'm not sure if some of those lights will show up there. What it's getting. Let me turn this light off for a second in case it, they don't know they're not showing up. But we have our headphone jack, button for front rear speakers, control dials for bass, treble, push button for subsonic filter. We have our balance control, loudness on off. Uh, this button here you can select mono or when you depress this instead of your pre instead of your scanner going to the next full station you can do it in a little tenths of a megahertz and this selects AM or FM then you have a tape monitor button you have all of your presets quartz lock light station light FM or stereo and then some signal strength indicators a couple of reds and then a green your input selectors for aux tuner or phono, volume control, were all that uh, period Technics silver finish. Looking around back, you see some of the uh, information. We have a courtesy outlet here, which I'll be using in this video. We have two sets of speakers, main and what they call remote, front or remote. Stick your speaker wires in there and then turn them to lock. Here we have a battery compartment for three double A's to hold our presets. We have a spot for antenna and I've had to use these. I had to hook up one of these because I did not get good FM reception just on the internal antenna. We have our tape recorder inputs and outputs for recording. I won't be using those today. We have the little spot to adjust your steps for where you live as far as megahertz and kilohertz and we have our inputs for auxiliary and phono and uh, the ground screw for your phonograph and one of these big old directional AM antennas, antennas too this is like the one on my Ankyo receiver I demoed a few years back Look inside for a second and see what we can see. Anything? If anybody out there spots anything that you recognize as a techniques date code, let me know. Stereo amplifier. Lots of codes, but 
Nothing specifically yells date to me. There's a few chips there, but I'm not good at reading those. Well, whether you know anything or not about the dates, now you know what one of these looks like opened up. Alright, to start some of our demonstrations, I'd like to show you what setup we'll use today, along with the receiver. We'll be using an old Magnavox stereo cassette player. We'll be listening to a pair of MTX AAL 62 speakers. 75 watts. They're serviceable. There's nothing special about them. And we're also going to stay with the Techniques theme and use an old Techniques SLD2 turntable, which has been in several of my videos, but not for several years. Alright, starting the demonstration with the receiver itself. We check our uh, presets. This would no longer be permissible at our talking community service i uh, do a lot of events annually what if you wanted to scan to the next station, you leave that activated. Up. We can do either. Uh, Director David L Harmony is in for my sisters and I and my mom. Now if you want to go up just to the next station on the dial. Stop the use of execution. I'm back. Prisoner organs, I have no way of checking you. So do you think there should be I'm not a big fan of these little tiny try to check up on dials. And it's very clear the World Health Organization guidelines state transparency for privacy. We don't need to know the individuals who transplanted, but we do need to have transparency with respect to the origin of organs. Yes. And have we got that with China? I think there are still opportunities for proper transparency. But in terms of other evidence of... Try and stay off copyright here. Let's go to another station. Subsonic filter, I don't ever really hear a difference. Just the band switch well, there. You know, the, the interesting thing that people often on AM now. Experience more of the music you love with iHeartRadio on X. Open your community out. Midterm election. Oh. Uh, with these people that we started rescuing, we did receive a call. I can hear a difference without this. I'm not sure if it'll show up on YouTube though. Um, but there, to me, is a difference in loudness. So that's pretty much the basic tuner functions. You can see when you have good reception, you'll have a couple lights up to green, and the quartz lock light is on. So let's try our auxiliary input. We're going to be 
tempting to listen to this cassette by a local person who I think recorded it himself. I don't see any copyright information on it in 1988, so uh, we'll give it a shot. forward so the uh, aux input works anyway Let's set up and try the phono. Well, we'll try out the Techniques SLD2, which I haven't used in a video in several years. Are you in the mood for trumpets? That happens to be the only album I have around here right now. Oops, better put on the phone and put Copyright issues again. condition as you can tell. the uh, receiver. So the phono input on the receiver works. Almost identical in cities like Detroit, Philadelphia. Okay, well I think that's going to wrap it up. I know the bulk of these You've been watching a video about the Techniques sure SA-206 receiver. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.